Hey everyone, so I think it's finally about time that I showcase a video what it's like working at my new job as a water resource control engineer for the California State Water Board. This job has been mostly work from home since I got this position. Just recently they're implementing like a new system where we go into the office once every two weeks. That's still very infrequent to me, but ever since March 2020 when the pandemic started, everyone who's been working there previously has been working from home ever since. So that means the people who have been working at the water board for you know many years are just now coming out of like a two-year hiatus and practically haven't seen their coworkers or you know been in the office for nearly two years. Just a disclaimer here, this video isn't going to be like super glamorous. It's gonna be a super realistic day in the life of type of vlog. Also, I'm not filming on the same day when I filmed this because when I actually filmed like it was just way too early and I didn't have the energy so I'm just like making this introduction a few days after. And of course I'll be voicing over like what actually happened that day. Hopefully you like the realistic day in the life of video. I wake up at 5.30 on days so that I have to go to the office. I know the clock says 6am here, but this is just like one of those stock videos I pulled up online. I have to get to the train by 6.30am, so that means I'll have to leave my house by 6 to get to the train station. That means I only have about 30 minutes of prep time. During those times, I just use the bathroom and eat a heavy breakfast, which typically consists of oatmeal and a spoonful of peanut butter. Peanut butter is not my favorite flavor in any way. I eat it because I know it's heavy and it can last me a good 6 hours before I get hungry again, just in case I don't eat lunch. Once I'm at the train station, I just wait until it arrives, but they have a pretty good schedule. Today was an odd day because I was sitting on the train as usual, then we had a hard stop. Turns out, someone was on the train tracks ahead, so they had to stop before he got hit. Fortunately, no one got injured and I don't know what the backstory behind that was. Once that was announced, everyone had to exit the train, but good thing the train stopped just where I needed to get off to transfer onto my next train. It takes exactly 1 hour and 10 minutes from the train station to my work, and with this unexpected event, I thought I'd be late. Luckily, I wasn't, and actually some of my colleagues went in a little later after 8am, so I was there earlier than my boss. I also have my government laptop, so I have to bring that every time I come into the office and connect it to their docking station. Once I arrived there around 8am, I checked my emails to see if I missed anything from yesterday. That's usually never the case for government jobs. You have a pretty set schedule and honestly, people don't want to work past like 4pm. That's just like government life. Today was my second to last day of training. Yes, it's been like two months into my job and I'm still in training. It's a virtual class and I have to present so that's why you see me wearing these headsets. I think these headsets look pretty funny because it looks like something you'd see people working at fast food drive throughs wear when they're taking your order. Not making fun of anyone, I just think it's old fashioned that my job gave me this to use even though there are like wireless earbuds and stuff already out there. Finally, the training was done and it was about lunchtime so my boss and colleagues invited me to eat out for lunch. We ran next to popular eating places like the Grand Central Market in downtown LA. It's literally like a 5 minute walk downstairs. There are tons of different cuisines but we didn't want to take too long waiting in line since you know it's just starting lunchtime. I chose the cheapest burrito there which costs $12.50. I thought that was pretty expensive but when I looked and pre-ordered a bowl in Chipotle, it's almost like the same price. I didn't take a video of me eating in front of my boss or colleagues, so here's just a picture of the burrito with my hand as comparison in size. Now back to the office. My boss gave me a new assignment and I'll say it's a better learning experience to test what you do while you're in training instead of after training because you have the opportunity to compare how it relates to conceptual training and a real life project. Since I've never done it before or used the software before, it took longer than expected. It was rare for anyone to have to do the assignment she gave me, so even other colleagues had to pitch in and research how to do it again, you know, despite their years of experience. Normally, I am hyper-focused on what I do and I just push through until it is complete. Only once it's complete do I take a break. I don't like to be distracted or disturbed halfway through, but that's just me though. And staring at the screen, it definitely hurts my eyes. On a side note, it's so weird to know that employees for the state water board we still have these old-fashioned water fountains. The water that comes out of these fountains tastes weird, so I tried to suggest that they implement newer water filter systems. Supposedly, others have already tried, and they said that the state always makes some excuse saying that they just can't because of budgets. This is something I want to address in the future. Employees definitely need clean water to work, especially if you're a state employee for the water board. Finally, the day was wrapping up and I was heading out. I get in the office at around 8 a.m. and leave around at 4 p.m. Some people come in a little earlier, some stay a little later. There was really no point in me just sitting there and like twiddling my thumbs waiting for a certain time to clock out. I knew my productivity was done and I accomplished what I had to do for the day, so I left. On a train ride home, there wasn't any issues this time. It's just sketchy taking the train going to and from LA because there's a lot of homeless people and mentally ill people. 
That is the stereotype of downtown LA, and I can attest that it is indeed true. I haven't had any crazy stories yet, and I just try to ignore them if they approach me or make like some sort of scene. And that's the end of my workday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Again, I know it's not like a super glamorous vlog. Some people on the internet, they make it really fun and interesting at work and you know, show off what they do after work. But I literally just eat dinner, shower, and maybe watch a few YouTube videos. At least that's my form of entertainment. Honestly, staying at home is more eventful and probably more fun because I have the flexibility to do more things rather than you know just be stuck in an office. So that's it for the video. Hope you found it informative. I rarely go into the office, you know, only once every two weeks, so I don't think I can capture events like these that often. Thanks for watching my video until the very end. Goodbye.